three movies left in our TIFF breakdown, and this one is a little bit more fun. Let's talk briefly about The Menu, directed by Mark Mylod of Succession fame. Uh, this is about a couple who travels to a coastal island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. It's a uh, food-centric restaurant culture thriller that has some pretty dark twists that it's hiding. Amanda, what would what was your reaction to the menu? Uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I think my expectations might have been a little bit too high going into it because everybody was like really talking it up as if it was like even better than you thought it was going to be. And a lot of it is. A lot of it is better than you think it's going to be. And a lot of it's going to go in directions where you're not expecting it's going to go. Um, Anya Taylor-Joy, fantastic as always. Uh, Ray Fiennes is a great little weirdo in this. He's so fun. So fun. Um, I feel like there was maybe a little bit more I wanted in certain areas, make like maybe a little bit more, especially with Nicholas Holt's character and kind of stuff mm -hmm. there. But at the same time, I can appreciate why you wouldn't need to spend a bunch of time delving into some of that. But yeah, there's a, I feel like there's, there's layers here that they are playing very obvious on, on those sleeve and they're directly mentioning them. But then I feel like there's probably some like deeper things you can look into yeah. there on, on the repeat viewings, what like certain characters signify and things like that. Yeah. I mean, maybe this is a movie that will reveal more mm -hmm. of itself to me when I get a chance to rewatch it on the mm -hmm. initial watch i did feel like it went from tame to wild a, a little bit quickly and then kind fast. of and then it kind of stays in that one place for a little while like i think with films like this given that there's some surprises and some twists you expect there to like keep being twists like in glass onion mm -hmm. you know they keep changing the circumstances and and in this like they kind of find a groove that's pretty fun and and pretty like you know acid tongued and they, they stick there for a little bit. And I don't know, maybe that's why I feel like I wanted a little bit more. But at the same time, I had a really fun time with it. And I think like all of it worked. I just, yeah, may, maybe it's more of an appetizer than a main main course. But either way, it's like really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with it. And Ray Fiennes, I, I thought, was just incredible. Oh, he was so good, especially when you get down to the ending with him a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Like he, uh. he does this thing where he's such like a stern, commanding presence in the film. But there are these things that happen that kind of delight his character. And he'll just do this little like quarter smile twitch. with the corner of his mouth. Yeah, like a twitch of a smile. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you need an actor like Ray Fiennes to really sell stuff like that. Mm -hmm. For sure.